We are praise the Lord. God has given a fine, wonderful day to us. May God bless each and everybody. Today, I am sharing with you about uh, who are the prophets and what are the duties of a prophet. Hallelujah! Because uh, <coughs> in the Bible, we can see that a prophet is the one who sees vision. A prophet is the one who sees vision. <coughs> Hallelujah! So let us close our eyes before coming into the world. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for each and everybody, those who are watching. I thank you, Lord, for giving me a chance to come on live. Let everything uh, come by your guidance, Lord. Let Holy Spirit speak and let it be a deliverance and let the name of Jesus be exalted and let it be a deliverance to each and everybody. And <coughs> hallelujah, in Jesus' name, amen. So, uh, God is with us for in the last uh, three, four sections i have been telling you how to prophesy and also about uh, the uh, characteristics of a prophet today i am telling you about uh, what is a uh, what is the meaning of a prophet or what is a who is a seer in the bible we can see that a seer means uh, uh, is, is a prophet hallelujah in the book of samuel i am reading the book of samuel first samuel uh, chapter 9 9 the verse it says, formerly in Israel, when a man went to anger of God, he spoke thus, let us, let, us go, let us go to the seer, for he is now called a prophet, was formerly, um, for he is now called a prophet, for, was formerly called a seer. Hallelujah. Again, once again, I am reading, for, formerly in his, it's, uh, one, first Samuel chapter 9, 9 the verse. Formerly in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, he spoke thus, Let us go to the seer, for he is now called a prophet, was formerly, um, for he is now called a prophet, was formerly called a seer. Hallelujah. So in the olden days, when a person wants to go and seek advice from the God, when he wants to seek a person who, who, who gets a revelation from God, he will say like this, Let us go to the seer. Because in the former days, in the olden days, in New Testament uh, time, uh, prophets are called as seers. But in, in the uh, later, this, now in this time, nobody is saying by seer, but prophet. What is a prophet? A prophet means um, one who sees vision, one who has connection with God. Hallelujah. So, um, uh, Chasa in the Hebrew language, uh, Chasa means uh, one who sees vision. From the cha the word Chasa, it came uh, um, uh, uh, seer. So seer means a person who sees vision. Hallelujah. So a seer has contact with God. He collects message from God. He collects all the message from God and gives to the church. Whereas a pastor collects all the message from the uh, church and give and gives to uh, God. This is the difference. So God speaks to us uh, through a prophet through many ways, through in dreams, in visions, in um, in trance. Also, maybe sometimes taken to heaven or speaks through our ears, speaks through our heart. There are many instances. We can see that Paul in the in the book of uh, Acts. In the book of Acts, we can see that um, Paul was uh, Paul had a trance. He was uh, going into the house of Cornelius, and while he was hungry, they prepared a, while they was preparing a meal for a meal for Peter. He fell into a trance, and he saw a vision that the heaven was opened. So there are many ways for God to speak to a prophet. Before doing anything, before happening anything in this world, God will surely speak to his prophets. Hallelujah. So God is with us. Hallelujah. I am going to pray in the name of Jesus, uh, those who are watching right now also. A prophet means uh, who has connection with God. His, eyes, his inner eyes should always be open. His inner ear should always be open. His spiritual man should be strong so as to receive the revelation from God. Hallelujah. So I am telling you, in former days, people used to call prophets as seers, but now everybody is say, calling as a prophet. Hallelujah. How many of you are prophets? In the book of uh, Numbers, chapter uh, 24, third verse, we can see that 
Balak forced Bileam to prophesy uh, against uh, the Israelites, but he found that uh, God doesn't like to prophesy against uh, uh, Israelites because God has blessed the Israelites. And we can see in the um, uh, third verse of na chapter uh, 24 of na Numbers, it says, Then he took up his oracle and said, The utterance of Balaam, the son of Beer, the utterance of the man whose eyes are opened, the man whose eyes are open. So understand one thing, a prophet's eyes should always be open. A prophet's eyes should always be open. So then only he could see visions. Sometimes he, God will speak through ears. Sometimes God speaks through in our heart, in our mind. There are many instances we can see that God speaking. So um, uh, when we read uh, the second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, uh, we can see that Paul had a vision. He was taken to heaven. He is saying that in the Second Corinthians of uh, chapter twelve of second verse, it says, "I know a man in Christ who fourteen years ago, whether in the body I do not know, or whether the, whether out of the body I do not know. God knows such such a one was caught up to the third heaven." So Paul is saying that. He knows a person, whether in body or out of body, he was taken to heaven. He was taken to the third heaven. Hallelujah. And the fourth verse is saying that how he was caught up into the paradise and heard inexpressible words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. So he was taken to heaven. He was taken to heaven. And uh, he heard the man who was taken to heaven, he heard the voice of God. God was speaking to him. Hallelujah. So there are many ways for God to speak. Since Moses was very faithful, as Moses was very faithful, God spoke to Moses face to face. We can see that in the, num in the book of Numbers. Uh, in the book of Numbers, we can see that chapter 12, 6 to verse. Then he said, Hear now my words, for if there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, speak myself known to him in a vision, I speak to him in a dream. But in the seventh verse it is saying, Not so with my servant Moses, he is faithful in all my house. I speak with him face to face, even plainly and not in dark sayings, and he sees the form of the Lord. Hallelujah. So in that book it is saying that, Lord speaks to the other prophets in visions, in dreams, through their ears, in their heart. But in the case of Moses, God is speaking face to face because he is faithful. So if you want to become a prophet, you must be faithful. You must be faithful in all the aspects. Then only God will speak to you face to face. Hallelujah. So I am telling you that a prophet is a man, he is a seer. In olden days he is called as a seer. So his eyes should always be open. His eyes should always be open. Hallelujah. So a prophet is a seer for God. He is a foreteller, a present voice of God. A present voice of God. Hallelujah. So his eyes should always be open. In the book of Matthew, we can see that Jesus has said that the lamp of the body is the eyes. If your eyes are good, your body will be full of light. If your eyes are bad, your body will not be light. There will not be light in your body, but it will be full of darkness. So Jesus has said in that uh, in the book of uh, um, Numbers, Hallelujah! In the book of uh, Numbers, um, it says um, Jesus. Uh, Jesus says in the book of uh, Matthew, Matthew. Jesus says that um, a man's eyes should be good if if a man's eyes is good then his body will be full of light if a man's eyes is not good it is, if it is bad his body will be full of darkness so our eyes are the lamp of our body likewise a prophet's inner eyes should be good his, his inner eyes should be good we have all personalities, but our actual personality is our inner man. How many of you know that? 
Likewise, a prophet's inner eye should be clear and he should be, he should be able to see the visions. Then only he could see the visions very clearly. Some people prophesy, but uh, there is no clarity. Hallelujah. There is no clarity. But if, if you want clarity in your prophecy, if you want accuracy, your inner, inner eye should be good. It should be accurate. Whatever you prophesy, it should be clear. It should be accurate. Even concerning the um, time, date, everything, it should be accurate. Hallelujah. So, the eyes are the lamp of the body. Hallelujah. So, um, we can see that uh, in the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 29, 18, the verse, it is saying that where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint. Where there is no vision, the people perish. So, when there is no vision, the people will perish. The people will backslide. So, in the church, a prophet is necessary in the, in, in the church. We can see that God has ordained apostles, prophets, uh, evangelists, pastors and advisors in a church. And what is the importance of a prophet? A prophet can see what a apostle or a evangelist or a pastor or advisor could not see a prophet can see deep inside hallelujah when the prophetic anointing comes upon a person he will see visions hallelujah we see that paul was taken to the heaven paul was taken to heaven he was taken to the third heaven he saw the heaven open Likewise, when Stephanos was uh, going to be stoned, he saw the heaven open. So when heaven opens, miracles will happen. So for a prophet, he should have connection. He should have connection always with God. He is a man, he is a seer, who is a man of visions. His eyes should be open. Whatever he hears, he must give, pass it to the church. Hallelujah. How many of you are hearing this? What I am telling you is that, Today, God is going to speak to some people. God is going to church, touch you. If you have a prophetic calling, be faithful in that calling. Hallelujah. Because uh, the verse is saying that, I, uh, Paul is saying in Ephesians chapter 4, 1, I therefore the person of the Lord beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called. You, mu you must walk worthy of the calling with which you are called. You know what your calling is. You are called as a prophet. That's why you are in the prophecy practice room. That's why you are in this group. Your calling is as a prophet. So you must walk worthy in your calling. Your eyes, your hearts, your ears should be clear. Then only you could see visions. Then only you could see, hear the voice of message. Hallelujah. If you prophesy, it should be clear. There should be clarity. There should not be no doubt. Hallelujah. I see robe, brother. I see robe, brother. Hallelujah. You are going to see visions. You are going to see visions more clearly. A prophetic anointing is upon you. Hallelujah. A prophetic anointing is upon you. I see sometimes you think that you are not called as a prophet. You think like that. But your main calling is as a prophet. Hallelujah. You are going to prophesy to strangers which you have never seen. I see a special anointing upon you. Hallelujah. So God in these days will take you out from, from the place where you are and will make you known as a prophet. Hallelujah. So what I was telling you is that if you come close to God, God will speak to you. If you come close to Jesus, Jesus will speak to you. If your mind is hard, if your heart is hard, God cannot speak to you. I see you, sister, Sarai, far away. You are far away. Hallelujah. God is going to make you a, a prophetess known as in your place in your place and the gospel will be spread to the other nations through you hallelujah in the past there were many struggles but now god took you out of the troubles 
God's anointing is upon you. God will make you to spread the gospel to the nations. I see a wings, an eagle coming and taking you out of your country where you are and spreading the gospel. Hallelujah. So, God wants a, a group of prophets. God wants a group of prophets for the end time revival. God wants to raise up an army, raise up a team of prophets. How many of you are prophets of the end time revival army? How many of you are prophets prepared for the second coming of Jesus? You must be available at all the time. You must be available in at all the time. At present and if you are out of station, you must be available. What does it mean? What does it mean that if you are out of stand, if you are not, if you are going traveling or if you are sleeping, but you, your eyes, inner eyes should be always open to see visions. Sometimes when you are, um, your eyes when opened, you will see the visions directly. But when you see your visions, your eyes close, you see the visions. Hallelujah. So there are many uh, ways to God to speak to you. Sometimes when you are asleep, God will speak through dreams. Hallelujah. So when you sleep also, your inner eyes should be open so as to see the dreams. Hallelujah. So God wants to raise a, a group of prophets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you are a child of God, you know that God will speak to you. Hallelujah. I see. I see. I see a name. Hallelujah. God is going to touch you. Hallelujah. God, God, I see a name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God is going to open, open, open the ways for the ministry. You are struggling. You are struggling to start a ministry, but God is going to open the way for the ministry. Hallelujah. Today, Holy Spirit is speaking to many people. Hallelujah. I see, uh, sister, um, I see you. Hallelujah. I, I see you that, uh, sister Shaila, your, your name is written in the book of heaven. I see you are struggling to come out of the situation. But Lord is saying, you need not to be worried because at the time I will make you known as a prophetess in your place. Hallelujah. So, how many of you are listening what I am saying? Because uh, in the olden days, the prophets were called as seers. But in the New Testament time, it is called, nobody is called as a seer, but as a prophet. A prophet is a one who sees vision, who is very close to God. Hallelujah. God is going to do certain miracles. Those who want to grow in the prophetic uh, realm, God is going to raise such people. Those who have a desire for the prophetic uh, realm, God is going to raise such people. I see a prophetic anointing coming upon each person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, what I am telling you is that, Hallelujah. A prophet, a seer, should be close to God. Hallelujah. I have told you that visions are of different type, different kinds. There, there is open vision. When there is visions, open vision. What is open vision? When your eyes are opened, you will see visions. Hallelujah. Likewise, there is spiritual vision. What is spiritual vision? When is when your eyes are closed, when you see the vision, that is spiritual vision. You sometimes you see the visions in a trance. I have told you before that. Peter had a trance and he saw the heaven open and sometimes you are taken to heaven. Paul was taken to the third heaven and Paul saw the visions. Hallelujah. So I see, I see many people. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I see a name, Melisha Owen. Hallelujah. Fire is upon you. I see a name, Melisha Owen. Hallelujah. God is saying that it is uh, the time for you. To start the ministry. Hallelujah. Lord is anointing you. Lord is touching you. I see you separated. God has separated you from everybody. Because God wants to choose you as his prophetess. Maybe you are struggling. Maybe 
you are uh, struggling come out but sister god is saying that this is the time to come out hallelujah hallelujah shakaram tarastara baraba hallelujah hallelujah i see i see the name hallelujah i see the name hallelujah daniel ivat hallelujah in the name of jesus holy spirit is speaking that may you come you just to watch what is going on but lord as chosen you lord as given you a chance before but now this is the second chance god is saying that this is the second chance you open your eyes you open your ears let your inner inner man be strong and see the visions god is going to use you more powerful god will take you out of your country god will make you to go to another nations you are known as a prophet you are you are promoted you are, you are qualified um, god is making you uh, known throughout the world hallelujah hallelujah so i am telling you uh, how many want, how many of you want to become a good prophet we can see that in the old testament we can see prophets there are many good prophets isa jeremiah ehaskiel daniel they are all prophets we know that they saw visions they had close relationship with god they spoke to god moses was a prophet moses was a, a second greatest prophet next to jesus he he spoke to god face to face hallelujah but what is the difference between these all prophets and samuel samuel had a double calling what is double calling may is main calling was samuel's main calling was as a prophet but he had an apostolic anointing upon him not only he prophesied not only he prophesied but he had the authority to select certain people and anoint he had the authority to anoint other people i told you that isa jeremiah daniel they were all prophets they prophesied about the end time they prophesied about the second coming of jesus hallelujah they prophesied about the things that were in the past in the future and the things that are at present but samuel was a prophet samuel was a prophet he had the authority he got the authority from heaven so god gave the authority to samuel to anoint certain people he anointed david he anointed saul he anointed many people so he had an apostolic calling he can be called as an apostolic prophet paul was this paul's main calling was a apostle but he had a teaching anointing so he can be called as a teaching apostle so double calling some people have the fivefold ministry calling in upon them hallelujah so god wants to raise up a team of people who have the fivefold who are uh, eagerness who have the enthusiasm for christ and to work for christ and who wants to grow in the prophetic realm hallelujah hallelujah holy spirit is speaking hallelujah i see sister in the name of jesus i see your struggle is over your struggle is over your struggling period melissa sister your struggling period is over finance is opening for you i see uh, some uh, pain in your body stomach ache right now healed in the name of jesus hallelujah god has chosen you for as a end time prophetess for for the your, your god is making you to prepare for the second coming of jesus hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i see the name shelly may burlet shelly may burlet hallelujah in the name of jesus holy spirit is saying that i see a big mountain standing in front of you but god is going to dismantle that mountain the power of god is upon you so much but this mountain is blocking 
the shining of God that is upon you. But in these days, God is going to break that mountain. God is going to send the Holy Spirit, the more anointing upon you. And you have been walking, you have been walking. But Lord is saying that, now this is the time. This is the time to go. This is the time to start. This is the time to move. A special anointing upon you. Hallelujah. God's care is upon you. Hallelujah. Peace God is giving upon you. I see so many connections coming upon you. And so many trade connections coming upon you. I think you are uh, doing some kind of your family. Maybe your family doing some kind of business. Hallelujah. But uh, God is opening uh, some trade connections coming to you. Hallelujah. So what I was telling you is that maybe some people are watching right now or some people are uh, watching, maybe watching later. But what Holy Spirit is saying is that if you want to see your visions clearly, if you want to hear the voice of God, your inner eyes should be clear. Your inner eyes, your inner ears, your inner man should be strong so as to receive the revelation. If there is no revelation, people will perish. God has chosen you in your place, in your church, as a prophet, as a prophetess. You are a seal. So, you are keep worthy of your calling. Stand strong in calling. Then God will raise you. God will promote you to the uh, another level. I see many people. There are many prophetic threats. There are many dream interpretation threats. There are many uh, revelation threats. There are people are asking for re prophecies, revelations. You practice. You practice and uh, by faith. Because uh, all the uh, nine gifts of Holy Spirit are connected to each other. Paul has said in the book of Corinthians that if you want to prophesy, you, you should have the eagerness. You must use faith. I am seeing many names, but I am saying prophesying by faith. Maybe I am in the growing stage, but I should not be afraid. But if I practice, God will make you, help me grow. I should not be ashamed. Maybe sometimes we have many revelation threats. In the revelation threats, uh, it is said that you prophesy, you, you uh, ask revelation about a person's past and present. It is easy to say about a person's future. So the things is going to happen. But if you say a things, some things about the past or present, if it is uh, not right, how will you face that person? But Paul is saying that in the book of Romans, it is said that exercise the gift of prophecy by faith. By faith, you say, what God has shown you by faith. Hallelujah. Yesterday, while I was ministering in a church, in a night prayer in, in my place, God told me uh, that a person, uh, um, God is going to touch him. And uh, Holy Spirit, uh, I told him that Holy Spirit is telling you that your daughters are going to be get married. Holy Spirit really told me that. But I asked him after prophesying to him, did you have daughters? He said, no, I don't have daughters. The people there all, they began to laugh. But later after the meeting, that person came to me. He, he came to me and said, Prophet, I have two daughters. I have no money to send them away. You spoke to me. So some people are like that. When you give her elevation, they won't say the fact. They won't admit. They won't say that it is true. But don't be disappointed. What the Holy Spirit says, you say. God told to Jeremiah that. Whatever I tell you, you say that boldly. Otherwise, you will. I will. Dis I will make you afraid before other people. So whatever God says, you say. Maybe the person will be lying. 
but you exercise the faith what we want is faith hallelujah what we want is faith to exercise the gift of prophecy hallelujah hallelujah so i am going to pray for you father in the name of jesus many people are watching right now many people are going to be watched later let the prophetic anointing come upon them let the prophetic realm be open to them let them see visions let them be raised to the another level in prophecy hallelujah those people who are struggling in certain areas to see visions hallelujah let let them come out of that situation hallelujah let their eyes be pure let their hearts be pure let their inner eyes be called let them see let there be prophets let there be called as end time prophets for the second preparing for the second coming of jesus thank you lord thank you lord for speaking through me thank you lord for touching them in jesus name amen hallelujah so i see another name also adobe momanam akko okoi hallelujah adobe momanam okoi hallelujah in the name of jesus god wants to speak to you adomi hallelujah you are called to minister you are called to reveal the secrets of people you will stand before kings you will stand before authorities hallelujah i see everything is fruitful everything is fruitful in you but you are seeing it at only now you have the means to go but you cannot go that was the situation but god is breaking that you are going to move hallelujah you are going to see the visions more clearly god is going to raise you hallelujah i see uh, in in the place where you are you are going to start a office you are going to start a prophetic office and many people will come there hallelujah in the name of jesus amen so um, i was telling you about uh, the prophets who are the prophets and the seers next time next week same time i will be coming on live if god allows may god bless each and everybody those who have watched watch hallelujah those who are again going to be watch let them be also blessed in jesus name amen god bless you